Okay, everybody. This is Ziffy Brody. You ever notice how people take a picture of a model and then they shove their avatar's face on it? You see these in ads all the time. So I said, um, I just learned how to do this. And so, with variable, varying results, here we go. I took, in Photoshop, lasso tool. Come on here. I just barely kind of stayed to facial features. Carefully going around this eyeball and this eyebrow. Select the face. Then I went on a picture of this model. And then, wait a minute. Oop, I need to copy. I go over to the picture of the model and I paste it on there and I go into control T transform you can't really see her uh, through it so we're gonna make this transparent a little bit here this is a bit of adjusting um, until we get it on there. I've had extremely good luck um, resizing these suckers. So, well, with it turned down, you want to line up your stuff as best as you can with the model. I was trying not to go into her hair, but that can be fixed. So I'm going to go about there. I really wanted to make sure I didn't goof up on the mouth this time because the last time my mouth was too high. I'm going to stay there. And then two things that I want to do in this is duplicate layer here just in case we need it this guy i want to turn up my opacity and duplicate layer then i don't need this one on this one we're going to select our doodad. We're going to go into modify, contract, five pixels. We're going to go on to the background layer delete her face off of that one with I'm not going to have it selected anymore with these two layers you're shift clicking to get a hold of both of them going up here to edit and auto blend layers this is the magic part people you're having it on stack you're having it on seamless tones presto there's my avatar's face on this model now I can still see her eyebrow in here but you can go back and uh, clean it up a little bit any way you want and that is how the people are doing it it's really cool I mean it's fun to do I can see how people got addicted to doing it but then there's a lot of, I get really tired of seeing the models being not even uh, Second Life models and they're displaying clothes in Second Life that you can't even get in Second Life. I've seen, all, I've seen people do this with their profile pictures all the time. Remember that? I think that goes back to like 2004, <laughs> 2006 anyway, 
where people would stick their faces on a model and it would be like way off. I mean, like the model would have their face slightly, slightly tilted and then they just jam the. So you want to make sure your proportions and your uh, angles are all correct before you go jam in this thing together. It's going to look really bad. I've seen people with like giant chins or just, you know, the face jammed in the middle somewhere. But um, that's, if you didn't know, um, I, I'm going to assume that's the way people are doing this. Um, I'm not going to clean this up because I'm not going to keep it. But there you go. That is how it is done. I hope that helps somebody. Like, subscribe, and buy me a cup of coffee if I've helped you. Thanks.